Hey Heart fans, Butch Hartman here. I'm so glad you guys have joined me today. And you know why? Because you're awesome. You can be anywhere on the internet you decided to land here. Hopefully you're staying because we have some really cool stuff to do. First of all, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. That would really be awesome. You know why? Because it's practice target. It's like target practice. You can learn how to you know, take the target and hit it. And man, when the aliens invade and you need to shoot them with your laser gun, perfect timing. You'll be able to hit them. Okay, here's what we're doing. Mad Lib Cartoons. I will be uh, asked to deliver nouns, adjectives, and verbs, correct? Correct. And I will yell these things out, and you, mystery person, yes. right, will be putting those things into the description of a famous cartoon. Meaning, we could change up any cartoon. Like, it could become anything. Oh. This calls for another laser gun. Okay, start asking me things. Okay. Verb ending in ed. Of ending in what? Ed. Ede. Okay. Any what? ending in ed or eating? A past tense verb. You said ending in ed. What'd you say? Ed. Oh, ending in ed. Oh, a verb ending in ed. That's not a. Verb I thought you said say, ed. I thought you said eating and ed. I can't understand you. <laughs> a verb ending in ed. Planted. A number. A number. Eight. Wait, does that affect the amount of things in the drawing? No. Okay. Noun. Um, guitar. Noun. Uh, apple. Another noun. Another noun, okay. Uh, how many of you out there could come up with three nouns in a row? Um, another noun. Uh, feather. Another noun, a plural noun this time. Plural noun, monkeys. Okay, ready for this? Yes. After being planted by his babysitter, an eight-year-old guitar is put under the care of two apples who can grant him almost any feather which leads to dire monkeys. <laughs> Wait, and you're gonna be timed, you have three minutes to do this. Okay, uh, wow. All right, and we're off. Here we go. Okay, uh, eight-year-old guitar has been planted. It could be monkeys with diarrhea. Dire monkeys. I'm just saying. Okay. All right, so what we have here is an eight-year-old guitar. I'll give him buck teeth, why not? I have three minutes to do this? Yes. How many minutes left? Um, two minutes, 10 seconds. Are you timing it really? That's right. Okay. Like, pitch us the show if we were at a Nickelodeon uh, meeting. Okay, hi guys, my name is Butch Hartman. A pleasure to meet you. <laughs> what I'm doing, uh, yes, hello, yes. Uh, I have worked in the industry for a little bit, but it's always, always been my dream to have my own cartoon. What's my cartoon about, you ask? It's about an eight-year-old guitar that's been planted uh, by an evil babysitter, and um, he gets a magic feather, and, and he, as a result... No, he, he, has, he has two apples who can grant him any feather. Oh, right, right. He has two apples that can grant him any feather. And, Which, and what, name it, what happens in an episode, an average day in the life of this guitar? Well, he's a guitar, so uh, he's out of tune quite a bit. Mm. And so I think the, um, the, 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 the Fairly Odd Apples have to um, tune him up. Okay. You know, and they and they probably play a couple of songs together as as friends. Are these tunes pretty loony, or? Well, no, they're not loony. That's a whole different cartoon. Oh, okay. Can't do that. And so we've got what we've got here is the Fairly Odd Apples, and uh, they are friends with. Uh, oh, he's a guitar. His name is Timmy Tuner. Okay, that's right. These are the jokes. Okay, there's Timmy Tuner, and uh, the Fairly Odd Apples grant him any feather. So he wished. So he's got this feather in his hand. Stuck a feather in his cap and called it macaroni, Yankee Doodle. All right, then he, and uh, this can lead to dire monkeys. So we'll have to just. How are the monkeys involved in this? Well, I, uh, I think there's two dire monkeys and they're very angry because whenever they, whenever he gets a feather in his hand, the monkeys appear to take it away, and that's the entire show. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. 20 seconds. Okay, here we go. Monkey ears going on. Monkey ears. The monkeys are over here. And uh, this 10 is... 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Here we are. And I'll just sign this because everyone's going to want this. Five, four, four. Little magic three, sparkles. Two, one. Pencils down. down. Boom, there it is. Timmy Tuner. Um, Cosmo and Wanda Apples. I think one would be called uh, Wapple and um, Cider Mo. That's the dumbest name I've ever heard. Bamo! There's the show. 
It sounds great, but we, Nickelodeon, want to hear what other ideas you have. You don't like the you don't like the you don't, the fairly odd apples. You don't like the fairly well, odd we, apples. We think you have more potential. Oh, I see. Okay, well, answer. you tell. You, I'll just put this one aside. The name of your uncle. Name of my uncle, Bob. Noun. Baseball. Verb. Verb. Jump. Uh, the first car you ever owned. Ah, El Camino. Proper noun. Okay, Batman. Perfect. <laughs> a cute dog name. A cute dog name. Aw, Jace. Make any sense. Here we go. You gotta go for it. I'm going for it. Bob was once your typical baseball. Until okay. He accidentally jumped his parents' El Camino and became a Batman hunting superhero, <laughs> Jace Man. <laughs> Drug Is that the description of Danny Phantom? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Can I just draw Danny Phantom? No, Is that all right? You have two minutes. Okay, two minutes? Yep, ready? Yeah. And spend a lot of time on my face, so it's gotta look really detailed on my face. All right, go, here and I go. go. I'm going. <laughs> Oh, you gotta pitch to the show. So, so what does Jace Man do on an average day? Well, what's up with Jace Man is Jace Man was a typical guy named Bob. <laughs> yeah. He was a typical baseball, you know, flying around the stadium, getting thrown around in different people's mitts, you know, getting getting hit by bats, and he got really upset about the bats. Anything with the word bat in it really started to upset him. So what he did was. Decided to take out his vengeance on all bats, and he decided that, oh, that the the ultimate bat. And I was kind of working out really well. Yeah. The ultimate bat to take out his revenge on was, of course, Batman, because you know he's got bat in the name right there. And after that, he's going to go take out the Bat Boy at Dodger Stadium. Uh, but but I think a typical show is you know Jace Man just gets up in the morning and uh, you know um, he's round and he has no hands. And uh, one thing he loves to do as a baseball is he loves when people throw him and the dog brings him home. You know, when, you, when, you, when you're like, you got a dog and you throw the ball. So let's see, so this is Jace Man. Hold on, I gotta draw Jace Man the baseball. But Jace, you're too nice to be a Batman hunting superhero. Oh, thanks, Butch. <coughs> you're too nice. Okay, here's the hair. Okay, so here's Jace Man running after Batman, and boom, there's the show. I don't know why anybody would watch this, uh, but I guarantee you, somewhere, someday, it's going to get made. I think I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna destroy this pad of paper with this laser gun. There, gone. Okay, next one, here we go. Cracking the knuckles. Ah, that was loud. Okay, go. Your real name. My real name, Elmer. Adjective. What? You didn't know that? Hallelujah. What? Adjective. Adjective. Um, broken. <laughs> oh, Prehistoric animal. Prehistoric animal. Uh, mammoth. Noun. Uh, knife. Is that bad? Knife that is works, bad? That works. <laughs> uh, just three things. Blank, blank, and blank. Okay. Rain. Pie. Massage. Verb. Let me see. Eat. Place, place. A place? A place. Ooh, the moon. Okay, ready for this? I'm ready. Here we go. You cats ready for this out there? The offbeat adventures of Elmer, a broken mammoth who must overcome his fears to heroically defend his unknowing knife owners from all <laughs> kinds of rain, pie, and massage therapists that eat around the moon. Their moon. They own the moon. Yeah. How, many, how, much, how much time? How many, how many weeks do I have to draw this? One minute. One minute. Oh, Are geez. you ready? I think so. Wait, let me get Here we go. Out. Ready, people? Three, two, one, go. Okay, so what's the show about, Butch? Uh, well, it's about this broken going? mammoth named Elmer, who's a very happy-go-lucky dude. And there's well, his big what mammoth. What in an average episode? Well, like an average episode is he's just on the moon, and it, it's his only home because Earth has let him down because he froze in the Stone Age, <laughs> right? Yeah. So he's like on the moon, and there's craters on the moon, and his job is to defend the moon against Pi. Yeah, and what else? And massage therapists oh. and rain. Oh. Here's a little storm cloud with the rain coming in. Now, how do these I think Elmer holds Elmer 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 has a laser gun though, just like I had in the show here. And how do these knife owners fit into the whole picture? Here? Uh, the knife owners are not going to be in the show. I have no time to draw them, so oh, okay. we're just going to keep it a moon. That's I think the knife owners don't live on the moon. They're kind of off off uh, planet. That's fine. How much time do I have left? Um, you have exactly five, four, three. Two, one, pen down.
Okay, there's the massage therapist, there's the pie, and there's the rain, and there's Elmer on the moon with a laser gun defending it. He's broken because his, his trunk is all twisted. I had one minute, people. I had one minute to do this. I, I, can you can you do this in a minute? Yeah, no, no I'm joking. I, I, can you guess I, what I, show that is? Okay, I want to apologize, first of all, to all the fans out there. If you're still a heart fan after this, you have no idea how much I appreciate this. Well, um, if there's anybody left out there who thought any of this was remotely entertaining, I really appreciate it. Uh, I want to give it up for our, for our mad liberal over there. Mystery voice, Jay Steele. He's a baseball who chases Batman. Yeah, yeah. Man, you know what else? I'm getting rid of this pad. There. Done. All right, guys. Hey, that was really fun. Which one did you like the best? Was it the Fairly Odd Apples? Was it Bat Boy Bat Jace? Or was it uh, Broken Mammoth Planet? Which one did you like the best? Let me know down in the comment section below. And do you like these Mad Lib videos? Should we keep doing them? They're kind of fun. It embarrasses me, but hopefully through my embarrassment, you're getting entertained. I can't thank you guys enough for being here today. It's been so much fun. Ow, I hurt my hand. We had a laser gun. We had some laughs. We have some laughs. <laughs> So many laughs, it was so good. Whew. I promise it was only water. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And as always, art gives you power. Use it wisely. Thank you, bye. Hey heart fans, subscribe here to keep up with me, Danny, Timmy, Dudley, Bunsen, and the Noob Network, my new app full of cartoons, shows, and games. Download it here. Click over here to watch my most recent video and here to start a playlist related to this video. Whoa, check out that awesome fan art. To be featured here, use hashtag heartfanart and tag me. I'm on every social media platform known to man. Cartoon Butch out. Pencil drop.